Hello everybody and welcome back to Coral Island where today, um, oh gosh, these are taking ages to grow. I want to go and have another look over at Sam's and just double check. I don't know. So I want to, do you know what I want to do today? Just, just for funsies, like, you know, just, just cause I can. I want to see if I can blow that stump up. Cause it's driving me mad. It's really anno in a super annoying place. Um, if I maybe put explosives on this side of the stump, it might just not hit my crops. That's a good call. Hmm. So can I put those back? No, maybe they they will fade over time though. It's more it's less annoying to have the stump there. Anyway, I think I can get my pick back today anyway. Oh, that stump dropped me nuts for so long. I'm so glad to have it gone. And while I've got explosives in my inventory, why not like explode up this? Timber! See, I wasn't very keen when it was like, oh yeah, explosives to like get rid of your um, monster buddies and stuff. Like, you know, I was like, okay. But for clearing, I'm happy, like super happy. I, I think they'd be such a waste to use on monsters unless particularly difficult monsters of some description, but yeah. Liking this. Okay, I guess I'll put all the wood away. But these just don't seem to be growing very fast, whatever they are, and they all seem to be the same thing, and it's slightly worrying. Um, that's why I said I want to go back to Sam's and see if he's got any seeds or anything, because I'm really worried that I won't be able to get this winter altar done, and I'm so desperate to get at least one altar done, please. Just want one. It's four of them and I just want one. But every single one of them has one really hard thing in it. <laughs> Alright then, let's go. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, it's nine o'clock. Let's go get my pick back then. And then we'll go to Sam's and we'll just double check. He doesn't have anything more. But yeah, these, these altars just do my nut in, to be honest. Retrieve upgraded tool. My golden pickaxe is here. Wonderful. So I'm hoping that this will make things a lot easier. Why not open these while we're there? That is a new artifact that I've never seen before. A stingray plate. Fantastic. So we can pop that in the museum. I'm, I'm not as often getting new things anymore, like a lot of things I've already donated are coming up, so it's really nice when I do get something new. Uh, we do also have fossils to go in the museum, which I haven't done yet. And I want to be looking at uh, upgrading my fishing rod as well, because that's really holding me back actually. I'm finding I'm catching most things I go for. So the bug net isn't as important, but definitely the fishing rod. There's things I'm catching and it's not even moving. So clearly I need something more to help with that. All right then. So I also want to just move around things in my inventory a touch. So I want to get that gold pick back in its little place. And why don't we head down to the beach shack then? It's not a Tuesday for once. <laughs> it's a Friday. It should be open. I'm desperate to know what I need to do to upgrade the fishing rod and whether I have the money for it. I might do. I've got five grand in the bank. Probably could have done it ages ago. Let's see. What's in the shop? Lots of different um, scents to lower awareness. Crawling critter. Or ground critter. I've never had trouble getting anything in the ocean, so I don't need to buy those, I don't think. 
Upgrade tools. So to get a bronze fishing pole, I just need 2,000 coins, two days, and some bronze kelp essence. I've got all of that. Just need to go back and get the bronze kelp essence. And then same with silver kelp essence and then gold. I can get that up to gold, probably not without too much fuss. I could definitely get it up to silver. So let's just work on that quite aggressively, I think, then. The fishing pole particularly. The bug net, maybe. I can absolutely go back and get, get the first part done, which is the bronze. Why did I get up there and round? That's the stupidest way ever. I know, I'm sure I've got bronze coil person somewhere. Yeah, I do. I've got. I've just got it right there. Just ready. Let's head back and hand the fishing rod in. That means I get two days with no fishing, <laughs> which is a bit sad, but I'm hoping that maybe if I can upgrade this by a couple of levels, that the things that are being really mightily difficult to catch might be slightly less difficult. So upgrade my fishing rod to bronze. That will be back in two days time. Lovely. I can also, at this point, I think I have the stuff for it. Not on me, but I do have the stuff for it to so upgrade my hook. So I think what that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go and upgrade my hook and then work on the mines for a little bit. I did it again. Wow. Impressive. Except I can't because I don't have the money for that. Okay. So that's, that's good to know before I start like running around trying to get that done. But uh, okay, let's put on some some uh, stuff in the mason jars. Uh, we'll go for gold cranberries today. That will do nicely. Some sea lettuce chips. I've no idea what they'll sell for. I need to go and just check on my poor little dudes. In the barn, just to make sure they've got enough hay. So, in fact, do I even... I don't even have hay on me. I need to get a silo so badly because I'm just carting hay around all over the place. It's really annoying, but... I guess it's what you've got to do sometimes. Well, that's better. Bronze kelp essence into the sea loot chest, the gold kelp essence. Yeah, may as well uh, while we're at it. Keeping the explosives pretty much... I'm not going to mine with them at the moment. I'm just going to keep them by for now. Um, I've got enough gold bars now to upgrade my next gold upgrade uh, when I've got the 10,000. So that's fine. Let's go and take the hay over to the animals and make sure they're all fed. It only lasts them two days now, you see, because there's two of them in each building. They seem all right. See how they're doing. So they're both neutral. Daniel's still on one heart and we've still got uh, Cloud on seven hearts. Apparently the biggest thing that's going to be an upgrade, uh, an upgrade for me on that is going to be upgrading the, it's going to the lab, honestly, and upgrading things in there, but always needing things. So apparently it, you can catch the, on a snowy day, you can catch the, um, 
yellowfin tuna, but it's a hard catch. And I'm thinking a hard catch might need a slightly better fishing rod than I've got, which is why I wanted to do that early in the season. So the milk and the wool could get sold today. Oh, I'm already up to three hearts. So the hearts start going up really fast, don't they? After a little while of just looking after them reasonably well. Not too unhappy with that situation. I kind of can't wait for spring to actually have some decent crops and stuff, though. Oh, these don't even seem to be growing. I don't know what's wrong. Like, do I need to warm them up or something? They've just been sat there, like, at this growth stage for, like, a million years. On the fifth already. I planted them on the first. Ugh. Right. Now I've had that little rant. <laughs> so my mason jars are doing their thing. Let's just go to the animal products chest and just see what we want to do with that. So... Honestly, everything is... Ah, oh, three duck eggs. So duck egg mayonnaise, definitely. And did I even get milk? To the... Oh, yeah, I must have got that milk. So we'll just do a normal butter. Uh, yeah, normal butter in that mason jar. Because that's like my butter mason jar. I kind of like keep it for that. I don't know if I should all the time, but... Seems to be what it ends up being used for. So we'll have duck egg mayonnaise today, which will hopefully go for a decent amount of money as well. Uh, and I think it's a day to go to the mines and see if I can make a bit of progress down there. I do also, I want the progress, but I also want copper. But what I might find is that I get copper as well. So let's just do it that way. I'm keeping the hay on me. It's winter. I'm going to need hay basically every day or every second day. And yes, I could probably put the watering can away. I know, but... I'm a massive hoarder, okay? So this gold pick, I'm hoping, will make everything so much easier. Have a quick wander around and just see if we've got any uh, cool things that I can up uproot. Not really, but you sometimes drop bat wings. So I want to, like, smash you and bash you. On the off chance you drop one. No, you drop monster essence, that's fine. What on earth are you? You look like you've got a Mexican hat. No, you've got a mushroom on your head. That's what you've got. What a weird dude. He had, like, sap. Okay, cool. Let's uh, go down and onwards. Hello, Mushroom Dude. Now, I want to go and look in the beastry and see what Mushroom Dude can drop. Because I don't know. I don't know what his drops are. Let's see. We've got so many of the extras already, haven't we? But a lot of the animals at the animal shelter, I think, I haven't met. So they might be, like, ones for me to get. So, let's see. Just sap and wood and stuff. And this one's silver, bronze. A normal tuku will sometimes drop a bat wing, but not often. Okay, good to know. Probably going to be a very rare drop that I'm going to really struggle to get, but never mind. So this is much better, as expected. I'm going to get through a lot faster. It looks like the amount of um, upgrades you can have on something seems to be slightly tied, slightly tied to the level possibly, but also very slightly tied to how many um, giants you've freed. So we'll be able to maybe get a third enchantment on our gold stuff once we've freed the wind giant. But I think his name, I think their name is Gru. Down we go. I'm not going to worry too much about exploring. And that's more to get him out of the way than anything else. There's nothing worse than bashing at you when you're trying to dig. If 
I can, I'll try and get down 10 levels, but um, that is a hard ask. I think that one hit double or when three was coming out, so I ended up getting like six off one node. That's pretty amazing. So nice having this pick like i was really considering not getting the pick and just trying to do to make do and get the the hook but i honestly didn't see that much of a difference between a bronze and a silver hook whether that's just because i happened to go down the level at the time and it is actually so much better i don't know but the pick just instantly seems so much better and i'm happy just to keep making dynamite to not have to spend the money on the axe upgrade yet. That will definitely be coming though. Yeah, so we're nearly down to 20 and we've barely used any stamina. That's fantastic. I might be able to make 25. And if I can, then... That was amazing. I am so happy with that. A forager ring? What does a forager ring do? So now I have to actually choose. This is the first time I've had to choose. Large increase in range for collecting items. A small chance to block damage and an increase in tool... Right, that is going on instead of the blocking the damage. I'll deal with the damage. I will just deal. If I'm going in for a big fight, then that ring might be useful. And yes, I'm continuing. I have Jammu. I have... The only thing I don't have is much time left. I think I can do it. I don't think I'm making level 30 today, though. But if I can do two in one day, that would be fantastic. That is a brand new enemy that I have never seen before, so it's getting bashed so I can see what it is. Add it to the beast tree then. Okay, nice. Oh, another fossil, lovely. Can't wait to start cracking the fossils open. Down we go, so that's level 21. Uh, we're at 20 to 10. I can push it a little bit past midnight if I need to. This guy is annoying me. Like, you're wasting my time, okay? I don't have much time left and you're wasting it. Go away. Stupid wasp. Okay. And continue. I think the tool speed is faster on this as well. And I've got upgrades to tool speed in general. So it's helping me get through this faster, which makes a big difference to my timings. I'm just desperate to get through this fast now. Oh, are you kidding me? That was disguising itself. Ah. <sighs> Don't have time to be doing that. Good grief. Right, okay, cool. We got to 25. So that is where I'm gonna leave it for today. Um, and we could probably, if we really push it, 
get down to the bottom of the gold mine by the end of this episode. If that's all we do this episode, we don't do any diving stuff, we can finish the mine, I think. And then I'm hoping if I can do a couple of fishing upgrades, then towards the end of the season, we can do a whole bunch of fishing. And that that's going to help hugely with the catch altars and things. If I have to go into winter of year two for fishing, then I, I will, but I'd love to have the catch altar done before then. I would love to have the greenhouse as well. Why did I not fast travel that? What am I doing? Uh, thinking. That's why I should I should stop thinking. No thinking for you, she love. Thinking makes you makes you forget stuff. Right, so we've got foraging level four. We've got taps and wood signs. I think I need to be foraging level six or something to get the wood logs. So I'm desperately wanting to get those soon. Because then I can have like a mushroom harvest. That'd be amazing. Okay, have these changed in any way, shape, or form? No. Oh, I'm so worried I'm not getting this winter altar done. I am so worried. Uh, oh, look, I've got maple syrup. I'm, I'm still aware that I haven't got the keg yet. Um, and I will be getting it, but I'm, like, pretty... Um, determined to do the mine the gold mine shaft at the moment so i don't really want to be going back into the bronze one so i hope you can forgive me for that i will still pet my chickens though don't you worry oh are you not happy to be outside cloud is making unhappy faces I might need to work on that then. They might be happier indoors. I don't really know. <laughs> like I'm thinking the unhappy face might be might be showing me something there. So mayonnaise, butter, cranberry jam. All ready to sell. I'm not going to make a lot of money. I'll make a lot of money when I go diving. So I'm thinking I probably won't make quite so much money right now. So I'll sell my butter, mayonnaise and jam. My large milk can go into the animal product chest. I've got a whole bunch of like fossils and things though. That's quite nice. Oh, and I'll sell my maple syrup as well. Um, I have no idea where to put that ring, so it's just going to go in there, I guess. Uh, anything else to go in there? No. Building mats, loads of stuff to go in there. Mm, donations are getting to a point where it's like a bit full, isn't it? I'll use my monster loot chest as a bit of an overflow for some of the geodes then. That's about as much as I can do there. I think I'll sell the maple syrup. Lovely. It's a nice little thing to do extra every few days. Okay, so how about we go to the mines then and try and see how far we can get. Do you think I could do 15 levels in one day? With a gold pick and some jammu and a full day? I don't know, but let's see if we can. If luck is on my side, then yes. If it's not, or I do something silly, then no. You know what the silly thing I did was here? Didn't bring explosives with me. 
or rope. Which were both things I was going to bring for doing that 10 levels down. So that's a bit irritating really, isn't it? See how I can do. I'll see how I do. Come on, way down, please. What are you? Where did it go? It's such a cool area as well because it's got so many gold veins. Well, there's the way down. But I really want these. and everything but okay down we go I really want that gold because I'm pretty sure that if I have enough gold that I've got all the gold I need to do the things I want then I can just start selling it Twenty-seven. We're at eleven thirty in the morning. Twelve hours left. We've still got Jamu. Twenty-eight. Trying to avoid the enemies because of the time it takes to get them. I hate these wasps though, they're really irritating when they sting you. I'm trying to dodge them at the moment. Go. <laughs> go, go, go. Oh, it's 12.30 now. It's definitely going to be the time that will stick us. The question is, what do I do? It's taken us about four hours or so to do five levels. Definitely got the stamina to do it, it's just whether I have the time. Okay, well that helps. 100% helps. I'll see how far I can get. What's the worst that can happen? I get a load of stone. I'm actually not too bad, uh, I'm not too overly uh, full of stone right now. Okay, well I've had a little bit of luck there, haven't I? So far has been incredible luck. I got a, a freebie for 35 as well. We're on 36. I'm 
going to assume this luck will continue, but uh, it's been very nice so far. I don't know what these giant slimes are for. Okay, at this point I need to take something to help with the stamina drain. Have a dark essence from him. Oh, interesting. Okay. From four o'clock. We've got um, three levels to go. I think this gold pick is giving me luck as well as everything else. I've never had this much luck before. So I think I'm going to make it even if I have an unlucky level at this point. this level actually this may be the level that decides to be the unlucky level right around this side a little bit I always think I have the most luck when I try and radiate out from the start point but it's not always, it's not always the way. Phew. <laughs> so this is 39. I am going to get rid of the wasp. Come really get here. If you make me jump, like, accidentally exit the mine or something, I will cry, little beast. Come on, Gru is waiting for us. It's only half past six, so that's great. I don't mind taking a second Jammu to allow me to um, progress to the end of this cavern. That's fine by me. But I'm not going to need it by the looks of it. There we are, final level. Hmm. Got a new cavern open. Well, that certainly replaced and more the two that I managed to the two that I used getting down here good grief and without explosives I had a very lucky run though that was truly awesome Hey, Chief. Did it again, human. The cursed tablet you have broken. Hurrah! Free Gru should be above we go. Check. Go check Gru. Grog and gong and gr Gru. Grog and gong and gr Gru. <laughs> and Chief. <laughs> Find the giant. The, the, the fire giant. Mm -mm. They apparently speak not about the fire giant, so that would be an interesting one. He's even tinier than Grog. Oh, he's so cute. He flies. Like the wind. Gru. Gru is sleeping. In there. 
Chief! <laughs> Gru, happy, happy, so happy, Gru, come whoosh! <laughs> I love them so much. Oh, Hey, Gru! Whoosh, whoosh! Who is this, Chief? Yes, freed you, this human did. Thank human, Gru, zoom zoom now because of human. You go zoom zoom, Gru. But Chief, where are others? Grob and Gong are in the village. Just two? Boom. Wait! Into the fire gate, human go? Um, yes, I, I am. No, we still do not. The cause of stone, dangerous fire can be. What? Fire no dangerous, fire good. Fire cook yum yum food. But fire burn, fire hurts. Oh, Gong is here. Grog! So cute. <laughs> hmm, fire is unpredictable. Four giants enter mine, but seen only three statues. Be careful, human, must remember. Maybe in Firegate, human will find other giants or become stone. There's more, but there are no more statues. Yes, other there are. Hope to goddess I am. The safe you are in Firegate. I'm going in right now. I've got time, right? To village we go. Gru, Gong, Grog. Gong, Gong. <laughs> I love them so much. I'm going straight in that fire. In that fire shaft. You know it. I know it. We all know it. We're going in right now. Ooh, Azmir. Four hits with a gold axe. Nice. Woohoo! We got loads there. I don't think we're getting a, a way down though, so it just looks like that's um, at the moment osmium ore, and we're going to need to do quite a lot of uh, quite a lot of hitting to get down in there. So I'm going to need to pop in there either tomorrow or another day. But yay, we got Gru free. Gru is free, and back to the farm, I think. I have like no stamina left, but I don't even care because we did such a good job there. I'm so happy to be onto the Osmium level. Yes. Good stuff. That was worth the pick, wasn't it? Right, let's go sell our cranberry jam. Our maple syrup being sold today as well. Uh, that should be an okay amount of stuff. Uh, I'm going to kind of keep the dark essence. Right, so building materials, let's put some stuff away there. My osmium, I've got loads of osmium now, it's so good. <laughs> so I can make four osmium bars. I can almost make an osmium pick if I had the money. That's so good. And then monster loot. Wind geos, we're gonna start getting fire geos now. So that's gonna be an interesting one. I've got 26 jamu now, which is great. Fantastic stuff. Please tell me the sprinklers are like doing their job. Like I'm so worried about what this is going to turn into. <sighs> I just don't know what the score is with this. 
It's half past nine. Um, I could put some more stuff on in my... I could do... Pickled eggplant, I think. Let's do some pickled eggplants in the mason jars. Just, just getting through all of my summer crops, really. And I'll see what happens when we get um, these ones for the winter, but... I really need to know like where I'm getting the Brussels sprouts and things like that. Are they coming in this or have I got somehow like all the things I don't need? I'm really worried. I'm very, very worried at the moment that it's not going to turn out well. I might go and do some research. <laughs> but anyway, let's, let's head to bed and uh, we can... I think we're going to go back to diving tomorrow. And I'll do a bit more... Ooh, slimy okra from mining level 7. Nice. I made one and a half thousand. So, saving up towards that 10,000. Uh, my fishing rod will come back, I think, tomorrow. If I remember rightly. They're definitely sprinkling. It's just nothing is growing properly. It's... Just stuck at this stage and I'm worried. I also need to do some research into like, are chickens unhappy outside in this weather? Should I just leave them in all winter? Because I could be completely scuppering myself by letting them out when I shouldn't be letting them out. They seem happy in the warm weather. So they're looking okay. Put some hay in their trough. I could probably do doing the same for the chickens, actually. And I will milk you, I will shear you. Make sure the chickens have enough hay. I could leave the gate open if I'm not letting them out as well. Cloud is looking okay. It's like, hmm. 52 days old. Not going up. Seems to be neutral all the time. I'm wondering. I'm going to try and leave them in the barn with their heater and just see if they're happier that way. Really don't know. It's a lot of stuff I don't know right now. It makes me sad. So yeah, I think we need to get back into the ocean now and try and do a little bit of stuff down there. Um, I've got three large eggs to make mayonnaise with. I've got one large milk that I can make some butter with. I will immediately sell the wool. Because if there is a loom on its way, I don't have it yet. Let's put it that way. Oh, wow, I can make a salted egg. Now I know. <laughs> That's how you make a salted egg, apparently. But I'll just have to see how, how that sells. <laughs> right then. So I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to dive today, I think. I haven't even looked at like when all the in fact I'm gonna go to Sam's I'm gonna do just double check that he hasn't had any new things in his shop and I'll have a look at the calendar see if there's any like offers or anything like that going on if you're looking to farm this winter your best bet is Ben he may have more winter seeds after his fortune oh I'm off to Ben's caravan right now We've only been a week, so if Ben has stuff. But he's been traveling, hasn't he? Don't even ask me why I walked this way. Well, that's a rose hip, which I need. 
That's a black beauty eggplant. I have no idea if I need that. So um, that's two, usually it's two scavenger balls and three things you grow. Let's go and have a look then, Ben. What have you got? have any seeds but you have the round stylish glasses that I need for grew frog actually do I buy them yes I do um yeah they said that Ben might have had some stuff but he doesn't Maybe it's only on certain days. Looking around just in case. No. All right then, so I'm just gonna head over to the fast travel point over here and I'm going to sulk a little bit that there's no seeds for me. Hoping I didn't miss something important that no one tells you about, and it, but it's really important. Because that always seems to be the thing that gets me in these games. All right, Pablo. So the fire gate is open. Heard it's full of Osmium ores. Scored any yet? Have indeed. Back to my farm. So after this recording, I'm going to just go and have a look at things and just work it out, you know. So I'll give the, the goddess my normal one, a rose hip. And I'll keep the other one, I think, for now. Because I like to keep a stock of scavenger balls and things. So we have the rose hip now. We do not have a snowdrop, a tea leaf, or a brussel sprout. But uh, we'll see. The thing I'm a bit worried about is we're kind of getting through the season now and think these things are not like showing up anywhere, and I'm getting a bit like antsy about it like I won't get my greenhouse unless these things differentiate into different stuff but they all look like they might be the same thing I'm thinking they might all be tea or something and then I'll be so sad they're not meant to all be the same but they all taking a million years to grow and I'm worried but maybe I shouldn't be maybe I should be I just don't know so I'm gonna just keep the Black Beauty eggplant and the rose hip. Yeah, see so see what comes out of the. So my stylish glasses, I'll just keep those in a chest somewhere until I'm ready to give them to Gru. Or is it? No, it was Gong. Sorry, give them to Gong. Okay, so in the meantime, I think uh, my best bet is to go and. Do some diving, and then we'll have the fishing rod back tomorrow, which will be quite nice. And it'll be a bronze one, so it'll be hopefully easier to catch things. The The odd thing that I catch that seems to be a hard difficulty item, a, a hard difficulty fish, will hopefully be a bit easier to catch. And then I will probably... try and catch... Um, I'll try and catch a few things and see if I need the silver upgrade. But making some good progress. I think if I if I knew what I know now, there's things I would probably do differently, but that's always the way. It's been over well over a year since I last played this game. So of course I'm not gonna remember everything I learned in the EA run necessarily. But I think we're doing okay. We've got uh, some some good plants. We're getting the island upgraded while we're going to get to a point where we've got upgraded barns and quail and all sorts of things like that. So I might be able to even put quail eggs in and things. And what I'll do is, because I'm doing things in a very varied way, so I will have like my crops upgraded. I'll get my seeds upgraded. I'll get this and that and the other upgraded. So I'll have like... 
an osmium rare crop or something. And I think um, you need to go for value as well as uh, rarity. So the, the more it's worth, the better it is. So I'm in, even to the point, I think, possibly where something that's like a, a gold, something that's a bronze of something that's worth more than a gold might even be better, you know? So say like a bronze rice sells for 10. Uh, but a, a gold tomato sells for five. The bronze uh, rice would be better, for example. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I need the other orb. Where is it? No idea. Is there like a load of trash sitting somewhere? Or is it just like gonna be under the very last one I turn over or something? Oh, there's quite a bit of trash down here. That's that's my bet then. So it will be here. I have 600 stamina now. When did that go up like that? Is it going up with mining level or something? Because I've certainly only eaten one fruit. My swimming's going to be way better by next year, isn't it? All my pumpkin smashing and all the, the ones that are just pure skill, they're not going to be any better. They are still going to suck. I'm just not having the luck here at all. There's definitely another altar there. It's just I'm not finding that orb. It is purposely hiding like under the very last piece of trash I'm going to get, I think. Like, nope, nope, nope. But I suppose as long as there's still trash there, there's still a chance that I could find it. Get in the middle there and just do a push. I think all the luck I had getting down the mine shaft yesterday has been taken away today. <laughs> that was super lucky. Fifteen levels in one day was extremely lucky. running out of trash now. <laughs> Wonder where it is. Not there. This one? See, this altar still hasn't been opened, see? Cleared, like, almost everything. Not there. Might be down here. Okay, it must be here then. Between these roots, maybe. There's four bits of salt over there, so that's worth a bit of money, isn't it? Yeah, I'm a little bit confused. I didn't think that they would ever be that far away. I'll try and keep going until I find it, though.
I'm like all the way over here. I've cleared all of this. And I'm just not finding the... The orb for it at all. So I'm a little bit confused as to how I've managed to miss that. We'll see. It's got to be somewhere. Well, that's extremely annoying so far. <laughs> I haven't even got one cleared. I mean, I'm certainly clearing a lot of seabed, which is nice, but... Oh my gosh. Yay! Well, hopefully there shouldn't be anything blocking it at this point. <laughs> How far away was that from the shrine? Oh my goodness me. The shrine's all the way over here, look. really quite beautiful down here though isn't it oh it's gonna go oh no it's coming this way round and round and round it goes where it stops nobody knows it's coming up here i suppose that's a good job i cleared all that out then all right so now we're getting the blockages it's nice that they're red following it found another orb which is nice i don't even know where that goes to but hey i suppose it makes sense considering how much i've actually cleared at this point right retreating route do your retreating thing This is a massive nightmare. Good grief. Okay, I'm going to move the anchor over here. We'll come back to this in the morning, I guess. Wow. Interesting. Uh, I will go to bed now. <laughs> that was crazy times. We'll do one more day. I made 196. <laughs> what a day! <laughs> I got back late, that's why, so... We've already got 4,000 in the bank, though, so it's kind of starting to work. These are all the same. Which makes me supremely worried. They are definitely all the same thing. That I'm not going to be able to get the Brussels sprouts or... Some of the other things. Unless they're forageables. I, I just don't know. That is my issue. But like I say, I'm going to have a little look into that later. I want to see how happy these guys are. We got large eggs today and they're still neutral, but Daniel went up by a heart. Which makes me think that maybe inside is better for them at the moment. Inside with lots of hay. Hmm. I can still feed you at least. Apparently my inventory's full, so let's go over to the dehydrator because there's no doubt some things to dehydrate in here. Many, many green sea urchins. So they'll probably be quite nice when they're dehydrated. 
and lots of sea salt. Which I think I'm going to sell today. Sometimes I sell it, sometimes I don't. It depends on my mood. 12 pickled eggplants and a large salted egg. I'm really interested in how much that's going to sell for overnight. Um, got some stuff like sea loot. We've got some building materials. And I've got some mysterious coffers. So go in the donation box. Okay, so my fishing rod should be ready today, which will be quite nice. Let's go and grab the animal products now. Cloud is looking okay, 53 days old. That's a thing for the goddess, isn't it? It's my large duck egg. Was that my last thing for my barn product? It might have been, actually. So I'm going to milk you. You don't look like it's a shearing day. It looks like an in-between day today. Um, I should have fed them, but they'll be okay for one day. Uh, I want to head off to the altar. Let's see. Lake Temple. I'm going to take my duck egg over there. Maybe I'll actually even finish a category today. Yeah. I've unlocked the mayonnaise machine, which I also unlocked through my farming and I also already have a mayonnaise machine so wonderful I'm so pleased with that <laughs> three different ways of getting a mayonnaise machine but coop animals are done barn animals I'm waiting for that silver large milk we've got bronze so far I need to get a goat with a barn upgrade and I need to get a large wool from uh, AJ I need to make the keg and then I'll have basic artisan finished so barn animals shouldn't take too long once I get the upgrades I need. Uh, basic cooking. Sunny side up eggs is one of them. Tomato soup. They're very basic, but I think they're each going to need different um, pots and pans. So that's going to be a bit annoying. And the monster loot, we're still just waiting on those. And the fruit plants, that's what's going to hold this entire altar up. Will be the fruit plants. But if I can get the greenhouse over here, that's going to be a massive help. So that is the case of getting the snowdrop, the tea leaf, and the Brussels sprouts. Why do I th why do I feel like I'm going to fall down on Brussels sprouts? I'm going to go check Ben's caravan daily. If he has a seed for any of these things, I want to know. Sam has nothing. Sam has absolutely nothing. Thought he might at least have one thing. Oh, he's closed today all day, is he? Great. Good stuff. It's hard to find bamboo shoots right now. They're not sprouting yet. The ground is still too cold. Make the hot spring better. How would I make the hot spring better? That's interesting. Must be some kind of upgrade for it. Had way too much trash. I am the trash emptier, apparently. I'm wondering if like snowdrops might be something. So I'm just gonna check in like all the different scavenging locations that I can and just see. I'll maybe go around the lake. I'll go down to the garden lane. Hoe up these things just in case as well. I, I anything, Any chance I have of getting anything, I'm going to try. Finding all of these eggplant things everywhere. is really about it so that's why i'm thinking like try different places like the beach 
the garden lane to see what I can scavenge up. Seeing what I can see. The tea berry. Oh, you know where I should look as well? Sometimes there's different stuff on the way to the giant. I'm gonna plant those wild seeds in case planting them at a different time matters. Now I'm gonna go down where the giants live. That's more tea berry. Wild seeds. Uh, like I said, I'll plant those in as well. Some giant weird thing. That looks like some sort of rare scavenger ball. about it so far so no snowdrops or anything i'm really quite worried that i just haven't managed to do enough to get this finished you never know these things they might show up later in the year or something or later in the season or on some kind of rainy day or something like that you never know Why did that one not catch? It was perfect. Do not understand. Okay, let's head over to the beach shack. It's a uh, Monday, so I won't be able to get my fishing rod tomorrow. So let's go down there and, and see if we can find my fishing rod at least. An interesting looking butterfly. A spice bush swallowtail. That is new. Retrieve upgraded tools. Bronze fishing pole is here. Lovely. Yes, just um feeling a bit worried about what's being planted and what's coming out of the ground at the moment. Like I'm gonna try and keep picking up these things and see if I can get more wild seeds or if anything comes out of them. Winter seventeenth to the twenty first. Wow, that's a long time for winter fair. Okay then. I'm gonna head back to the farm. I'm gonna put a few things away. Just make sure I'm trying to make some stuff. We're gonna sell some scavenger balls. Not that one though. That one looks a bit rare, so I'm not going to worry about that one. Uh, I've got a second mayonnaise machine now, so that's pretty cool. Well, I'm struggling for space for all my machines, but maybe I could fit that in behind the other one. And we can put a couple of different types of egg in. I can have duck egg going on at the same time as... Uh... Where did that duck egg go? It just didn't even go in there, did it? 
can have that going on at the same time as the chicken egg and all that stuff. So that's really good. I can then have this large milk going in for large butter. Scavenger balls are just doing their thing. And then let's see what kind of see what kind of produce I've got here that could be made into something else. Um, how about we do silver hot peppers today? I'm so glad I kept these. They're earning me so much money than they would have done otherwise. Uh, no. Produce, produce, produce. Okay, so let's put anything away that I can here. I can't. There. I want to plant my wild seeds. I say there's a chance that maybe they'll become something else. Never know. These all look like they're the same things as each other. Ah, oh, lovely. I got some scavenger balls to some dried scavenger balls from the sea to sell as well. Boom, 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 boom. Sell that pansy. I think I'm keeping a pansy somewhere else as well. Um, donations. I have loads of stuff to donate. All right. So what I'm thinking is I'm actually just going to take all of the ones that don't need to come out of a coffer. I'm just going to take them over to the museum now instead to make a bit of space and also push the town a little bit further towards its rank C. I'm trying to think, I think last time I maybe maybe got to rank C or maybe I didn't. I'm, I can't remember actually. So all of these guys, uh, at least then I won't forget as well, which is always the, oh, snowdrop seeds. I need that. Okay, I'm opening like every coffer, I'm catching every fish. <laughs> Oh, you know what? Tomorrow morning, we open all the dinosaur fossils. Yeah? In the lab. That might actually get us to the snowdrop seeds in time. I think that's a good that's a good idea. So then we'll have those ones. I don't know whether these are tea or Brussels sprouts, but the, uh, I don't think they're snowdrops. So that would be at least that done. And then I just got to work out what else to do. Because I'm a little bit worried. <laughs> um, I'm going to do a bit of diving just to end the evening. And then I will come up with a plan. And we'll come back ne next episode with a plan as to what I'm going to do to try and finish off the winter bundle. <laughs> that would be so sad if I have to wait till next winter with all of the other seasons bundles done. I would cry. And it still might happen, so I still might have to cry. Still might have to actually cry. Okay, now I'm trying to remember where I'm going, what I'm doing at the moment on this level. So that still hasn't been opened up. down here from where oh, I wish I'd moved the anchor before I moved up well these all need doing so let's just do them I guess oh my goodness me look it's stuck on here oh yeah okay we found that one randomly I remember now Okay. 
stairs, guys. So it's now T Rose, uh, sorry, T Snowdrops. And I think I know how to get the snowdrops now from going to the museum. So I think we can get them. So it's tea and Brussels sprouts, which are going to be the main thing that I need to like try and work out how I, what I'm what I'm actually growing. Also, whether Ben will sell anything as well, like. don't know I'll keep going back I mean Sam said Ben might have stuff so I don't know whether Ben has a bit more of like a rotating stock and whether that would help um I just got really into just clearing this away and I don't think I was being particularly tact tactful about it let's just see where it's getting stuck all the way down here these these are getting longer all the time. It's ridiculous how long they are. The sea will never be clean. It's blocks. Really, Kibble? I had no idea. Is it done or is it blocked? It's done! Hurrah! That took its time, didn't it? Good grief. Right, let's go and see what the situation is on the one around here. Which I can now actually get to a bit more easily. Which is very nice. Oh, it looks like something is trying to come through and is blocked here, look. There's a couple of them trying. No, it's just one actually, isn't it? You look like some kind of awesome lobster that I really want to catch. So let's try and catch you. A split coloured lobster. Wow, that is a uh, museum donation then. That will help me towards my my goal of uh, getting snowdrops out of the museum. <laughs> I really hope I don't get them and they're like, this is a 13, well, I could just about do a 13 dayer at the moment. Um, also, We've gone over way too long. Then again, it doesn't matter too much if I don't have too much stamina left on the day where I'm going to be running around trying to open various things and that sort of stuff. So, Right, so we know how to get snowdrops. We don't know how to get Brussels sprouts or tea, but one of them I no doubt is growing. I just don't know which one. And... There's a chance that something cool might come out of any of those four as well, but it looks like everything that I've planted is all the same at the moment. So, uh, I'm going to end the episode there, I think, and then go and make myself a plan as to what I'm going to do about this bundle. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome. <laughs>